Hey guys, if you're new to Grubhub, maybe thinking about starting Grubhub, or maybe you've been approved and not sure where to start, I'm gonna take you along with me step by step. I'm gonna show you how to operate the app and go over some tips and tricks to make it as smooth as possible for you. So I have my app open. We're gonna go into the top left-hand corner where the three lines are. That's gonna open up a menu. There's scheduling, which I will come back to. That's where you can pick up your schedules. There's tasks. That's where you can toggle on Grubhub, toggle Grubhub off, and then there's earnings. You can see your daily earnings, your weekly earnings, the prior weekly earnings, and then there's program level. I'll go ahead and tap into that. My acceptance rate is 20%. I am at the partner level, and as a partner driver, it says down below, third access to scheduling on Saturday at 10.35 a.m. Now, in the past, I used to pick up my schedules on a Saturday at 1035 a.m. because it was hard to get scheduled so I always had to make sure that I was on top of it I feel having a schedule you do get more offers so if you can get a schedule I highly highly suggest getting a schedule now lately when I come out here to do deliveries I will pick up a schedule I find that I'm able to grab one now in the past if I wasn't able to get a schedule let's say for a certain block I would just check back in and sometimes people will drop blocks and I was able to grab grab them at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the three lines in the left-hand corner, go back to the menu. I want to schedule a block because I have not picked one up yet. I'm going to tap scheduling and then down at the bottom it says update schedule. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. It's going to open up. It's going to show me the blocks that are available right now. It is a little bit after five. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a block for 430 to 630. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and then I'm going to tap done updating. Now I need to go over to the three lines in the top left hand corner I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that I need to go into tasks and I need to toggle on available so you'll see the little red dot it says unavailable right now I'm gonna go ahead and tap that and it says do you have your card uh, remember to bring your driver card with you which I do have now I'll show you it I have this little card right here. This is if an order needs to be paid for. Now in the past, sometimes they would have drivers place the order and pay for it. Although I haven't seen those very often anymore. It's usually you just go in there and pay for it. It's usually really straightforward and simple. I don't see these very often where I have to use my card just occasionally, but I do have my card. I'm gonna go ahead and tap got it. And then I can let me tap toggle it on taking offers there we go and i'm gonna hit the x in the left hand corner now you'll see at the top it says taking offers i am on schedule and once an offer comes in i will show you what i have whether or not i want to accept it or decline it now the other thing that you do need is a hot bag i have mine right here it's an older grubhub bag three plus years old now when i first started we could go down to what they would call the hub we would get our bags and all that information and stuff now i believe they just send it to you and I believe the bags are orange now and I also believe once you complete a one order they will then send you a Grubhub bag which is nice because they are nice to have but you do need a hot bag to keep the customers food hot in now Grubhub is a lot slower in my market than how it used to be when I first initially started of course each market is going to vary some markets are going to be a lot busier other markets a lot slower and if your market is a lot slower it is a good idea to pair Grubhub with other apps that way you're staying busy that way you're going out there and making money some other apps that you can look into are uber eats spark driver there's also shipped there's also instacart and doordash if you're interested in doordash i do have my link down below in the description now i'm not saying go out there and start multi-apping right away especially if you're new you do need to learn one app get used to the platform and then you can add apps in as you get comfortable i do have a video on how to multi-app properly that way you're not upsetting any of the apps so i'm going to go ahead and hang out and hopefully grubhub will send me an order soon it is around dinner time which dinner time is my favorite time to come out that's when i find it to be the busiest which is typically from 5 p.m to 8 p.m although people tend to be ordering 
coming a little bit later. Um, so hopefully something will come in soon. Hey guys, I received an offer. So once an offer comes through, you're going to see an orange banner at the top. It says new offer, accept now before it expires. You'll tap on view. It'll open up the offer. It'll give you all of the information that you need. It'll give you the name of the restaurant, the address, how many orders, whether it's one or two orders. It's going to give you the miles, which the miles are 4.8 miles for this order. That includes where I currently was when the offer came in to the restaurant and then dropping off to the customer or customers. In my case, I have two drop-offs. Amount for this offer is $23.86. This is an awesome offer. So what you'll go ahead and do is you will accept it if it's an offer that's reasonable for you. If it's not, then you reject it and wait for your next offer to come in. Once I accept the offer, it'll open up the screen and it'll show my pickup time, which is 545. And I'm actually here right now but to navigate to the restaurant you'll just tap navigate and then if you want to see more details you can tap more details so i am here at the restaurant i'm going to go ahead and tap more details that's going to open up the offer it's going to also give pickup instructions some restaurants have instructions of where to go which can be helpful especially if you're new so always pay attention to that but i'm going to go ahead and tap arrive and now it's going to show me the two orders that i have to pick up for i have two customers so i'll go ahead and give the restaurant both customers customers names and the platform that I'm working for. We're going in to check on these orders. I have not gone inside the restaurant. I just remembered something I did want to mention before I pick up the order. I did just get notification that both orders are ready, which is awesome. Perfect timing. But let's say you go in there and you check on the order. You're there on time and the order is not ready. They're telling you five, 10, 15 minute wait for the orders ready. Go into the customer's name, tap on the little arrow next to the customer's name, and it's going to give you their name, the items they ordered. The other thing is make sure you pay attention if they have any drinks a lot of the time the restaurant will forget if there's drinks and keep in mind if you ordered you would want to make sure your drinks arrived with your food so always pay attention to see if there's drinks but if they're running behind 5 10 15 minutes go down tap there's a problem you have order is not ready you can tap on that and then grubhub will ask you about how long and they'll ask you some questions that way you're letting grubhub know it's not me it's the restaurant that's running behind there's also other things in here like order missing, uh, orders incorrect, I can't deliver this order, restaurants closed, or something else. So we're gonna go in and get these orders since they are ready and get these wheels to move in. Uh, two pickups for Grubhub. Well, look at that fancy camera. <laughs> How much comes this one, but it's separate? Uh, two more. Two items for the one. Just the one. Okay. Just the one. And is the drinks in Haley's? Everything you put inside. It's can everything, see, everything in there. Can I see the wine? You want to see Brian? Okay. Can I see the other one? Good. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Come for another combo. See you next time. Yes. <laughs> So both orders are ready. Now, one of my orders had drinks, so I made sure the drinks were in the bag, and sure enough, they were. Both orders are in hot bags, so they will stay warm while we head over to the customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the first customer, and then I'm gonna tap got order. Then it's gonna take me over to the second customer, and I can go ahead and tap got order. Now, I wanna go ahead and tap leaving after that, and then it's gonna give me the first customer. I'm gonna go ahead and tap navigate, and it's going to take me to the first customer. We'll get this order dropped off and then go get the second order dropped off. First orders dropped off and there will be notes from the customer whether it's a hand it to me or leave at door. Most of my orders are leave at door so I left it at the door and as I was taking my photo because you need to take a picture and, and another thing is if you can get if it's a house get the house number with the food in the photo or if it's an apartment you're delivering to get a photo with the apartment number that is always best that will show that you indeed did drop it off at the right location but I'm taking my photo and she's opening the door to get the food and the dogs try to come about super cute dog but next customer is four minutes at 1.5 miles let's go get them their food
orders dropped off. Now it was a house, but the GPS did not take me directly to the house. It kind of dropped a pinpoint in the middle of the road. So I kind of had to zoom out of the map find their street and navigate there. Then I'm looking for their house and I'm having a hard time seeing their address. And of course it's the darkest house on the block. That's why I always carry my mini high powered flashlight, which I do have the link down below in the description. This thing saves me every time I deliver at night. It is a must have. The other thing that I carry is my pepper spray, which I keep on this wristlet because it won't do you any good in your pocket if it was a a person or a dog and you needed to protect yourself. I have it right here on my wristlet. Again, links down below if you're interested in either of those. So orders dropped off. Customer did leave some notes not to knock, which I typically won't knock unless specified in the app to do so. Unless it's like raining and there's nowhere safe to put their food, then I'll knock or ring the doorbell and uh, hand the customer their food. Some other tips would be using your Grubhub bag as your identification lets the employees know when you're going into a restaurant to get an order that you're a Grubhub driver. If there's a long line, it lets customers know, hey, I'm not skipping the line. I'm here to pick up an order. That can make you feel comfortable when you're going into restaurants and maybe that there's a long line and you need to get your order. The other thing is using your hot bag when you go up to a customer's door. Sometimes you might end up on the wrong property, a neighbor's property. It's kind of your identification letting everybody know you're on a delivery you're trying to make a delivery to a customer it also lets the customer at the house know hey my delivery drivers here if they see you through the window or maybe on one of their cameras they see you coming to drop off their delivery so that can act as your identification when you're on somebody's property the other thing is when I make deliveries whether it's an apartment complex or in a neighborhood if I'm looking for an apartment if I'm looking for a house and I'm driving slower, I will turn on my hazards, lets everybody know, hey, one, you can go around me if I'm at an apartment complex or if I'm in a neighborhood, I don't look suspicious. I'm looking for an address that can come in handy too. The other thing that I wanted to mention is if you ever find yourself in an unsafe situation, whether it's picking up at a restaurant or dropping off to a customer. If you ever feel uncomfortable or unsafe, you do not have to do the delivery. Make sure you're in a safe location and give Grubhub a call. Let them know the situation. That way they can unassign the order and that way you're not in an unsafe situation. And my final tip, which would be making sure you are tracking your miles. This is a tax write-off and very important so you can max Maximize your earnings. There is an app called Solo, which will help you track your miles, track your earnings. They'll also help you estimate your taxes so you're better prepared for tax season. They have a ton of features for us gig drivers. They also offer guaranteed earnings in certain cities. Definitely an app worth checking out. I do have a link in the description for Solo. They do offer a free trial to see if it meets your needs. If you do use my link, there is a $10 sign up bonus, but make sure you are tracking your miles. This is a very important. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.